I'm in love with the go 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 go. Pew pew pew. I'm dropping. Okay, let's turn it up. I don't know how to work my own car. Anyways, y'all. First off, I just want to thank you guys for hitting this video and taking your time on viewing my journey, my pregnancy journey, just my life journey, period. You know, like, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't mind sharing things that I go through. I really find it liberating. Um, I find that there's freedom and just being able to speak about what's going on in your mind. So, um, thank you guys for watching. And if you really love me and you're really starting to love me and you really starting to feel me, like, you know, I don't mind if you guys subscribe. You can do that as well. Um, and comment, of course. So, I just came back from the hospital. I had a vaginal ultrasound. I forgot the actual medical term. And sorry, today is December 11th. And according to my apps and stuff, it says I'm seven weeks and two days. Now, I went to go get the ultrasound. to see if we can find the baby and good news we did um i will upload pictures well not even upload i will show you guys pictures of the sonogram once i can get an official one from my ob the hospital will do not print them out or whatever the case may be that's what they said i have pic i have pictures on my phone but I'll wait till I get them from my OB. So, um, what's been going on? All right, so I was telling you guys about the intense cramping that I received. A lot of people was concerned, but I'm not concerned because it doesn't come with bleeding. My regular periods are this bad. So, can you imagine me trying to form a whole baby? Of course, of course like it's gonna be this bad and so i'm starting to learn my body and listen to my body and the cramping only happens when my body's saying it needs something you know so like the cre the cramps have decreased and now it's more so uncomfortability usually like i feel good right now so you're gonna see like my energy and stuff compared to my other videos you're gonna see like I'm halfway dead <laughs> so um, I feel good right now I only feel uncomfortable when I have to poop or like I have to really pee so I've been peeing a lot freaking urination has been like on it like I'm peeing every 10 minutes you know and it sucks when I have to work and travel 45 minutes or so to get where I need to go and I have to use the bathroom very bad and it's like when I finally release there's not that much pee but it hurts so bad like I did not pee in hours and then when it, a little bit of pee come out I was just like you're just disrespectful like my body just disrespectful anywho um, I've been having food aversions. So last week, I was having so many food cravings, right? And I want this and I want that. And I really won't eat. I really won't eat unless it's something that I'm craving. But I mean, I I've always been that way. Always been that way, even on a regular so now that I'm pregnant, it's just like, hmm, I'm really not going to eat that. Like, you're really going to give me what I want. Like, I'm really going to get what I want or I'm not going to eat. So, um, 
Now, this week, I'm having food aversions. Like, I don't feel like eating. But I'm pretty much forcing myself to eat. Sorry. I thought I knew somebody that was driving behind me. You know I'm mad, like, observant. So, anyways. I don't really feel like eating, but I know I have to force myself to eat in order for me not to get nauseous. Also, nausea has been a big thing this week, and it wasn't a big thing the weeks before, and I've been very thankful to God for that, um, because I'm naturally a nauseous person, so I know how bad it can get. So, don't you hate when you're driving and someone's all up in, in your back, like, move, like, relax sir relax anyways so um i really don't feel like eating but i'm really forcing myself to eat so i don't get nauseous and i know this baby needs to eat even though i don't feel like eating it's just been a lot 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 and i was telling my man like this is a lot. Like, I've been complaining. Like, oh my God. Like, I can't do this again. If I'm going through this now, imagine, like, labor. Oh, low. Oh. I want to drop out. I want to drop out thinking about... I, must, I think I want to go to Dollar Tree. I want to drop on the floor thinking about labor. Like, Seriously. Like, seriously, I'm scared. And there's a lot of things I'm going to talk to you guys about, What, like some fears that I have, some uncertainties. It sucks when this, like, it just sucks when it's your first time doing anything. Your first, your first car, your first house, your first apartment, your first this, your first that. It's, you're just so uncertain because you just never experienced this before, you know? But I've only told really close friends and family like like very minimum amount of people like people that I can count on my hand except I know my grandmother she probably told some people but these are people that are good with me and my heart you know so I don't mind that they know um but things at once it's already hard trying to focus on driving and then videoing at the same time so that's that i've seen okay so i i, I did the thing at the hospital the inter the vaginal sonogram or um ultrasound or whatever yeah ultrasound i think i'm not sure anymore and i seen the little the little pee the little baby and camera calls it bubbles we should call it bubbles because it looked like a little bubble and um yeah so i seen the little bubble there and then you can see the little heart fluttering i wanted to ball like i can't wait till it gets later and later and we can go to the appointments together and we can actually hear it like you can see it moving and oh it's life it is life it is life right when i feel like this season was coming and this season is really about death to me despite it being holiday season god has given me life and i'm not gonna get emotional because i be crying about everything lately um and I just thank God for that all. I know, like, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Even going through the pain, even going through the uncomfortable times, I have to remember. And I told God, like, God, when I'm complaining, just ignore me. 
everybody just ignore me because I feel like giving up sometimes. Like, I was just, this is just different for me. It's different for my body. I feel like my body's going into shock. Like, my brain and trying to understand what's happening is going into shock. So it's like I'm coming off as, like, complaining. And I know there's women out there that will take any pain that comes with childbearing because they're not able to childbear, bear a child. So, um, thank you guys. I want to keep these videos short. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's like, um, 7.30 in the morning. I've been up since 5. And this has been every day. Um, today is week 8. Day 2. Um... Usually I'm not out my bed or out the house um, for the past few weeks. I've um, been staying in the house. Don't have enough energy to do anything. But I'm up to go to Stop and Shop literally a block away from my house to get Raisin Bran, some fruits, and some oatmeal because that's what I want to eat. And I don't have that in the house. Oh my god, I'm looking crazy, boy. Crazy. It's okay, though. It's okay. It is, it's the morning. Like, what do you expect? And I'm pregnant. And I'm miserable. I'm straight miserable. <laughs> Yesterday was not a good day. You know, sometimes I have good days. But yesterday was not one of them. And, oh, you could definitely see my butt chin. Oof. Girl, mm -mm. I've been extremely constipated, which is adding to my miserableness. I don't want to eat anything, but I'm hungry. I'm starving, but I just can't eat just anything because I will throw up, which I did yesterday. I threw up my freaking life. So, anyways... I'm here and I will get my stuff and get right back to you guys. Give me a minute. Alright y'all, I'm back. Um, I just went to go buy some fruits because that's the only thing I can actually keep down. So I bought some um I bought some applesauce, I bought clementines, I bought grapes, I bought strawberries, raisin bran, and oatmeal things. I'm trying to get a lot of fiber in, and yeah, the only thing I could hold down is fruits. And I really love pasta. I really want pasta, but even after... Um, whatever food that I'm craving, right? Whatever food, I get whatever I want. And I'm literally eating like three bites of it. And then it's just like, yeah, I'm over it. So now I, um, have a habit of just eating small snacks throughout the day. Like small amount of foods throughout the day. I need at least two naps or like... I'm a grumpy, I'm a grumpy, grumpy person. I know my boyfriend is over, <laughs> over it. God bless his good soul. God bless him because, see, God knew what, what, knew what he was doing because he is the only man I've ever met with so much gentleness and patience. You know what I'm saying? And it's like genuine. It's not like, Oh, I'm going to pretend that, um, oh my god, you can see. I'm going to pretend that everything is fine and then I'm going to explode on you. It's like really in him and I think the world really deserves people like that because everybody's so quick to get upset, hoot and holler and he's not like that. He's very calm and, you know... He's just been dealing with me, and I've been mean. I'm just going to be straight honest. I've been mean 
my um I've been having really bad attitudes like everything ticks me off everything makes me upset everything pisses me off and it's everything that he does like it's like <laughs> yeah so and I'm still stuck on the whole noodle thing but when I was a little earlier maybe three weeks back I was really stuck on spicy foods now I don't want no spice I don't want no spice in my life <laughs> I don't want nothing spicy I just don't want none of it uh, everything bland flavorful not too much flavor not too much seasoning but yep now I'm home and I'm gonna make me some cereal and I'm gonna take another nap I need like these two naps a day to like be somewhat sane and I'm gonna show you guys which prenatal that I'm taking and continue this conversation another time but until then thank you guys um for watching i appreciate it i would really appreciate if you take the time to subscribe if you have not and continue to follow this journey how else are you going to know when i post something up if you're not subscribed subscribe to me and my budget because probably it's going to get worse from here <laughs> all right